Good morning. It is a beautiful Saturday. Let's open this up. Get some sunlight in for um, our plants here. And the dogs are barking. Let's go tell them to be quiet. Oh, man. Hey! Us. Y'all go play. Go play a little bit longer. No, not yet. Go play. <sighs> All right, where were we? Where were we, guys? Anyways, my name's Dave. Welcome to the channel, The Shores Life. The channel about our life. Anyways, we got some plans this Saturday. It's a uh, Easter weekend. We had Good Friday yesterday. And then tomorrow is Easter. We're gonna go see the family and stuff like that. But today, we have to go run some errands. And so, uh, let me get some paper. Okay, so. So we have to go, I think Molly said, <clears throat> excuse me, we have to go to Target, we have to go to Sam's to pick up some stuff. But then I have to go to Home Depot and I'll tell you, I'll tell you why in a little bit, but. So here's the way it works. Like here's our house right here. And um, like Sam's is over here. And I was about to leave just a while ago, but then Molly said the Sam's order was not ready. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna save some money on gas and not drive all over the place. And then Home Depot over here, Home Depot. And then Target's probably like right here. The part, Target's the closest one to us. So the thing is, if you go to Target first, then you have to go up to the highway and it takes forever to get to Sam's. But there's a shortcut to get to Sam's from our house over here that takes care of a lot of traffic. And so we're gonna hit this. We're gonna go to Home Depot. Home Depot is non-perishable goods. We'll get into that in a little bit. And then we have to go back down the highway, hit Target, then hit Home. So that's the plan here in just a little bit because it's only 9, 12 and Molly said that Sam's won't be ready until 11. And that's the first place we're gonna go to. But let me get back to Home Depot. So this week we had some very crazy storms, very crazy rain. I think it was Wednesday. Was it Wednesday or Thursday? It might've been Thursday. I think it was Thursday. McKaylee had to go to school early for some running stuff for her track and everything. And so on the way over there, started torrential downpour of rain. It reminded me of our trip to Florida a couple years ago. And I think I almost even had a little anxiety attack because like it was that, that trip, that part of the trip freaked me out because the rain was so crazy. I thought maybe there was gonna be a storm or a tornado. And I don't know if it goes back to like when I was seven years old and actually went through a tornado. Not like went through it, but we had a tornado like hit our house when I lived in East Texas. So maybe it's a little trauma, I don't know. But freaked out for a little bit. I kept it under wraps so the kids didn't freak out. But by the time we got on the highway, it was just downpouring crazy, crazy rain. And so by the time we exited off the ramp to go to Molly's mom's house, cause she was gonna take me Kaylee to the track meet or whatever that she had that morning. There was like these just huge, rain puddles. I wouldn't even call them rain puddles. Like there's just flooded areas in San Antonio. And so we went through it, nothing too crazy, but we heard like a little like a click. And then when we slowed down, we heard like this like almost like a wind type of sound. And when we stopped, like the undercarriage of the car, let me, let me go show y'all actually. It's not as bad as it was because I pulled up on the curb and kind of shoved it back in. See that the left panel, I guess that's what you'd call it. It came off. Yeah. Now luckily, it's not. there's not just one huge panel under the car. There's panels divided into sections under the car. And this is the left long panel or maybe mid panel. And it takes up like near the front, middle, and a little bit of the back. And uh, so I shoved it back in there because it was folded over. And it's not, it doesn't scrape as bad, but whenever you hit high winds, it does like this. Here, let me draw you a diagram again. So. Here's the bottom of the car. Here is the panel. Oop, I just made a hole. Here's the panel hanging off. Here is wind when we drive. Going this way on that panel. So once once it hits that panel, it shoves it down and you hear that noise again. And I got underneath it a little bit as much as I could by pulling up on a curb. And it looks like it ripped out some of these fasteners or screws or something. So I'm gonna see if I can go underneath there and try to fix it. And that's why we're going to Home Depot today. Back to Home Depot. Our car does not have a spare tire. It did not come with one. Newer cars don't for some reason. And so we have no way to um, crank it up, to lift it up. And I'm going to Home Depot to buy a jack lift, a floor lift, I think it's called a floor jack. And I'm gonna go pick that up and then I'm gonna pick up some stands to put the car on to see if I can get underneath that enough to actually see if I can fix it. So that's what our plan is today. And I will take y'all through that to see if that's something we can fix. Okay guys, we just got back from Target. Change of plans, we went to Target got the things that Molly's grandmother needed for Easter tomorrow, and then we came back home because we forgot. Here's, here's the thing, you got four kids, there's always something that you forgot. And so Jaden has, um, uh, he's getting with, together with some friends around 11. It's 10.20 now, so we're like, we can't do the other stuff yet. 
So, let me go sit down. Oh, so the plan is now we're going to take Jaden to his buddy's house to go do whatever he's going to do over there, hang out and stuff. I think he's there until like 3 o'clock. And then after that, we're going to go to Home Depot. I think we're going to add a couple of things. Do not jump up here. Okay. Anyway, so now we're going to go to Home Depot um, right after we drop off Jaden. And then after that, we have to go by, uh, whatchamacallit? What did I say we had to go by? Sam's. We have to go pick up our order from Sam's. So... Eventually, we will get to the part where I lift the car up, which I've seen it done before. I've really never used the jack lift, but I've seen, you know, people turn the thing and they jack it up and then they put the, the stands on there. I've had enough friends and family that have done it before that I feel comfortable doing it. I just got to make sure that first um, it's in park and then make sure your emergency brake is on because you want all your wheels to be locked whenever you lift up your car. So um, what's up, baby girl? Like this much milk. Okay, we'll fix it. And <sighs> there's not enough paper towels. Oh no! Let's go see what the damage is done. Yeah, this is a normal day in the life of a Shores household. Where is it at? In my room. Oh, okay, it's not too bad, baby. <laughs> it looks almost not real. It looks almost like it's paint. Yeah. Okay, you just want to lick it up? No. Oh, I thought you. Just, if we had a cat. <laughs> Alright, let's clean that up. Alright, so we got the milk cleaned up and today is also a cleaning day. So I gotta do the car stuff and then we gotta clean up because we have family coming over tomorrow between our house and Molly's grandmother's house down the road. And so there's gonna be people over here and we we like to have a clean house mostly because it just I don't know, like some people I think clean up because it's uh you kinda wanna maybe like show off or something. Mine is, like, I've always come from the idea that you clean your house because you have guests over and you want those guests to be comfortable and your place to be welcoming to them. We usually will do a, like, two-hour quick cleaning session if we have family coming over, like, that day of, uh, which is always great because you get the house almost impeccably clean within a couple hours versus today's probably going to be, like, almost all day we're going to clean do laundry and stuff like that. Such is life. If you have if you have a large family, let me know if you have any shortcuts or hacks that you use because um, weekends can get pretty crazy sometimes with all four kids and taking them places and having to clean up. And they help too, by the way. The kids are very helpful with cleaning up. So it's not just Molly and me. We're very much believers in the kids have to do their part. They're part of this family. They're part of this household. And yes, you have chores and you got to do stuff. So they usually clean like the the bathrooms, they definitely clean their rooms, and then like their playing areas and stuff like that. They'll sweep, mop, clean toilets, stuff like that. So that's usually their job. And then um, laundry, the two older ones can do laundry. Even Liam's getting to the point where he can do laundry because next week he will be 11 years old. He's 10, I mean, of course he's 10 right now, but he, uh, he, can, he can do laundry as well. So um, just preparing them for the future, you know? As they get older, I want them to be able to go off into the world and do great things, including keeping their place Mostly clean. All right, we're at Home Depot. Looking at plants, y'all. Hey, look at that one. It's kind of dead looking, but the, the sprout thing looks cool. Oh, there's these, uh, oh, I think that might be them right over there. Those yellow ones right there. But they have some more in the front. What up, home slice? Cool, I'll put them in there. Thanks, shut up. Were you recording? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was recording that. All right, guys, so we got flowers. This is, this is part of Molly's Easter basket. She's a bunny. Um, and then we ended up having to get some pots. Let me, let me go wide view because this is very, there we go. We got a couple pots to put the flowers in. We got some dirt in the very, very back along with like six bags of, what do they call Sea pebbles or something? Pea pebbles. Pea pebbles from Molly's grandmother so that she can, she wants to do something with her yard. And then I got the jack to jack this car up and then the two um, stands to put the car on so it doesn't crush me. But, and then stuff from H-E-B. We ended up going by H-E-B on the way just because Molly's grandmother needed beans or something for tomorrow, so. We're making the rounds. It is now. Um, probably making enough chili for all of you. Yeah. So if y'all want to come over tomorrow to our house, Molly's grandmother's making way more than enough. Okay. But it's 12:40. We've been out since what time? Um, originally like. I think like nine yeah nine-ish or something like that. And then we went back for yeah. a smidge. And now we got to go pick up Jaden around three. So we still have a couple hours. Um, the thing is, I don't know how long it's going to take me to work on the car. To like, I want to jack it up, look at it, and see if it's something I can do. And then if it's something that I can work on, I don't know how long that's gonna take. So I'm wondering if I should just wait until we get Jaden, where everyone's home. Uh, Cause I don't wanna start working on something and then we have to go get Jay and I have to put the car down and then 
things might be a little worse than where they're at right now. So I can't deal with that. But at least we'll get everything home. Maybe I'll get the plants planted. That's a good idea. Get the plants planted. Nanny's pebbles laid. Nanny's pebbles laid. And that sounded weird. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, then we we'll do have to clean the house. Pebbles. Yeah, we'll place her pebbles. But, oh, I think our stuff's coming. Hi. <laughs> you want me to put it on you? Nope. Good. Okay. Anyways, we just got our stuff. Woo -woo. It's uh, hot dogs, buns, cookies. and cookies for tomorrow. But to go along with, with the big pot of chili. With the big, huge pot of chili that will probably end up feeding. Um, you could probably end up having five bowls per person because Molly's grandmother cooks large. So that's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be delicious and I'm going to be stuffed. And then we're going to go to my parents in the afternoon after that and uh, do desserts and stuff like that. So it'll be a busy day, but it'll be fun to see all the fam. But we just got a lot of stuff to do today. And that the car is just like an added stressor because I want to kind of get that thing fixed before we drive it around some more. But we're going to go home, get this stuff done, and then... I will update John a little bit. Okay, fam, here is what we did with the plants. So we got this, it's called geranium that goes there. We don't know where to put everything, but we kind of have it figured out, I think, for now. Aloe vera's been there for forever. Snake plant's been there for forever. Um, that's a hibiscus. It's called a disco, disco something hibiscus. This is another one here. Um, a fern that Molly's grandma got. And then there's some, these actually came off this one. I replanted some stems and they're growing into a new snake plant so yeah that's what we did and now we're going to go over to molly's grandma's house and go get helped go get started helping on her yard all right i just got Jaden from his friend's house and um okay. yeah, he's fine <laughs> and we're washing the dog they haven't had a bath probably in a couple months so he'll be fine yeah they they kind of got into this hole we had to rain for a couple of days so it's all this mud. So I know. Yeah, he needed. Oh, well, yeah, I'm gonna get it in his ears. Get him? Ah! Okay, y'all. This is what I'm doing. I'm using this three ton jack to hold it right now. And then this is a safeguard. I don't wanna put it only on that and then not have this over there. I thought I was gonna do that at first, but I just feel safer having this hold it up. This is being a fell safe to catch it if this failed. I just rather have fell safes instead of just this by itself. But. If you look under here, here's where it's hanging down, this cover. It's supposed to go up in here. I took these screws out because they had to basically strip through that. And I think, I think I can put those back on there to hold it back in here and then right over here. So these two spots, and that should hold it up enough until I can take it into like a shop and they can just replace this whole panel right here, this LH, whatever this is, because that's basically what it, this, this is what broke. It's this part. It also came off a little over there. I haven't gone over there yet. I haven't braved to go underneath the car that much, but I'm going to go over there in a second to see if I can figure out what is going on in that little, that little nut right in there. Um, so yeah, first time underneath this car, first time under a car in a while, actually, since like probably my twenties or my thirties, uh, when I used to have ramps that I'd pull them up on. And then I made, um, some stops over there out of some stacked wood that I screwed together just for some more safety. I have emergency brake on, everything's on, so no worries, but yeah, just to be a little bit more safe. So I'm gonna try to get this in there, we'll see. Okay guys, I did it. Well, it's not perfect, but I was able to get these screws back in over here, and there's one in the front. So when you look at it right here, nothing's dragging. It's a little loopy in here, but that's because when it stripped, like it pulled it back and I think it stretched this plastic. But it works for now until I actually get this piece. Okay, I can repair this whole piece. I think they have this for like maybe 150 bucks and you just take all these screws out and put it in yourself. Probably a lot cheaper to do it myself than to take it into a body shop or something, but uh, there is some shredded parts like this one over here. There's one up on the front that's a little shredded that I couldn't fix. So it's just gonna have to be the way it is for now, but uh, it's more cosmetic down here than anything. Like nothing's gonna damage any functioning part of the car. So I'm not really that worried about it, but. All right, cool. Now I have to put all my fell safes up and get inside and probably take a shower. All right, I just got my shower done. I feel a whole lot better. Molly's ordering some pizza over here. And then we were watching um, the Halloween Horror Nights news by this guy. I think it's, I forgot, Heimbach is his name. I'll find it and let y'all know. The car's fixed. We got all our errands done this morning. And I think tonight we're going to watch Avatar The Way of the Water 
as a family tonight. Oh, Siri, stop that. Siri is listening and, and transcribing everything I was saying. But yeah, we're going to watch Avatar Way of the Water. Kids, uh, I don't know if they remember the first one, but they've been to Pandora enough at Disney World that they kind of get the idea. So I think they'll enjoy this one. Uh, it's three hours and 15 minutes. So it's a long movie. So we got to get that started here in a little bit. It's um, almost six o'clock. So if we start it by seven, then I think we'd be done by, yeah, like 11 or something. No, seven, eight, nine, nine. No, 10, 10. My bad. My math was wrong. So we're going to start that here in a bit. And after we order some pizza and have our dinner tonight. So I'll let y'all know how that, what we thought of the movie here in a bit. Three hours later. All right, we just finished. Well, I shouldn't say we just finished, but we finished Avatar The Way of the Water probably about 35, 40 minutes ago. And I totally forgot about anything to end this video. So I was like, I need to, I need to record something, but it was good. Like I liked it a lot. Like the beginning was a little slow, but near the end it was I, like, McKaylee asked me if I liked it or maybe Liam asked me if I liked it as much as the first one. Um, I think I do. I think, I think it was just as good as the first one, at least for me. Uh, I was entertained and I enjoyed the storyline. I'm not gonna ruin anything, but yeah, it was good. I, I probably would have liked to seen it in the movie theater, which I didn't. Uh, because I never, I always have this idea that sequels aren't going to be as good unless it's something like Pirates of the Caribbean or something like that, which really only the first three were pretty good. The other ones were okay. But yeah, I like the Avatar Way of the Water. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today. We had a busy day. We got stuff done, ready, prepped for Easter, and I fixed the car. So I'm a happy camper. I'm not even, I'm not even tired. I thought I would be a little bit more tired, but I'm not. But I'm gonna watch some TV now. Everyone else is going to sleep. I'm still bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and I'm ready for the world. I might read a little bit too. So anyways, that's gonna be it. Y'all have a very good Easter Sunday. Well, we'll probably record some tomorrow. And yeah, I hope you have a good weekend and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys.